State legislators have advanced the Beagle Bill. It would give many animals used in testing facilities a second chance at life. Thousands of Beagle puppies were recently rescued from one of these facilities, and some of them are being cared for in Springfield. Western Mass News reporter Olivia Hickey joins us live in studio with more. Olivia. Yeah, Chris, this bill mandates research and testing facilities in the Commonwealth that use dogs and cats in their work to contact local rescue groups so healthy animals can be placed for adoption once their time in the lab is complete. The name is based on beagles being one of the most common dog breeds used in research and comes as Dakin Humane Society in Springfield took in 20 of the 4,000 beagles recently rescued from an illegal breeding operation in Virginia that produced the dogs for lab testing. Western Mass News spoke with Lori Swanson, the executive director of Thomas J. O'Connor Animal Control in Springfield. She explains that current legislation mandates certain care in these facilities, such as sanitation and veterinarian care, but it does not protect these animals past their time in the labs. People need to be aware and, um, and the voices of people need to be heard. That's what we're here for. Um, we're here to relieve suffering and ensure that every animal has, you know, all the comforts that they deserve in life. And so that does not happen without um, our legislatures and without the public um, mandating that different things happen. And although Swanson says this is a great opportunity to advocate for these animals, the hope for animal advocates is to eliminate animal testing altogether. Meanwhile, this bill has been sent to Governor Charlie Baker for his possible signature. Live in studio for Western Mass News 11 at 11, I'm Olivia Hickey.